everyone, this is Shane Breaker. I am in the kitchen, cooking, cooking, cooking. And I'm trying to show you all um, just, you know, some of my little things I do to throw down. This fried chicken right here. Looking good, ain't it? Looking good. Mm -hmm. Looking good, baby. Yes, honey. What you say? Looking good, looking good. Mm, that's good. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh -uh, hold on, y'all. I talk too fast. Let me put it back in here. I got some blood. Oh, no. I'm gonna not pay that. I'm sticking my fork in it. You know how to say stick a fork in it, she's done. Ooh, let me turn down this eye. God. I went from thinking I was cooking something, throwing down, to about to burn something up. Ooh, honey. There we go, honey. I had to get that cook a little bit. Let me see. I taught myself such a knife in it, y'all, before I cooked it. So it wouldn't. So see, big old drum sticks, look at them. See how big them drum sticks are? I don't know how the dog on restaurants get them done. But somehow at the house, y'all, I do not get them done. So I always stick a knife or a fork in them to make sure they're done. Goodness, you big old piece of hunk of love. I may put them in the air fryer too. That's what I do too when I think my chicken is not done enough, y'all. I put it in the air fryer. And, um, oh, heck no, that chicken still running. I hate cooking drumsticks. Is anybody else like me? Is there anybody else like me? Who just pure to you okay stand cooking dog on drumsticks? Look at that drumstick running. I can't stand it. I don't care how much you cook it. It's running. That's why I do not like buying big old pieces of chicken, y'all. Y'all can have it. Some of y'all love to um buy those big old pieces of chicken thinking you really don't want something. But when it comes down to cooking it, are you making sure it's done? Maybe y'all have those fryers. I have one. Following old school, he was talking about a fry on Amazon. I went and bought the thing and everything, y'all. And um, and not even using it. It's in the closet. I said I was going when I move. I was going to take it out and start using it and put it either outside or on a porch or something. But I may have to break it out sooner than that and put it in the, um... Ooh, look at this piece of chicken. It just don't want to do right. It's fighting me like it's alive. Lord have mercy, Jesus. This chicken fighting me like it's alive, Lord. I do not like drumsticks. Y'all know why I buy them, though, because they're cheap. That's a darn shame that society is that doggone bad that you have to buy what you really don't want. And I don't know about y'all, but, um... Now, I eat them all day long sometimes, you know, dark meat from the restaurants. And like I said, child, they must got it down to a science, and I need to start cooking them more often. And maybe I'll get it down to a science how to cook them. Let me clean up some Robbie back. Hello everyone. I just want to share this food I put together. Um just getting stuff out the cabinet in the freezer. Um broccoli, some chow mein noodles with some vegetable mix. I put in it frozen and fried chicken drumsticks. 
I don't like cooking too much drumsticks, but they're okay. This is some leftover lasagna that we had that we couldn't throw away either. So my daughter, she loves that, and she, eat, she ate that while I ate the noodles. As you can see, I was eating off a drumstick and broccoli. Oh, y'all like broccoli? Let me offer you some. Do you like it? I love broccoli if it's fixed right. It is so good to me. So I can eat healthy sometimes, y'all. See the chow mein noodle mix I made? It came out pretty good, too. I like that. Um, I get those noodles from Winn-Dixie. I can't find them anywhere else. But I love them. You see, I gave it a thumbs up. That's good. <laughs> hey, y'all. This is Shane Breaker. I'm here to bring you another um, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. This time, I'm at I mean, I'm not at, but I went to Chris's Hot Dogs in Montgomery. It's called Famous Chris's Hot Dogs. Um, I don't remember being crazy about it the first time, but I'm going to try them again years, years, years later. I don't know. Um, they have like chili, um, sauerkraut, all kind of stuff on their hot dogs. They don't look as pleasing. I don't know. There they are. Can you see it? I think what they do is mix up the hot sauce. I mean, uh, the chili, the sauerkraut, and it, all that together. So it don't look as pleasing. But the only thing about the hot, I mean, hamburgers that are different. I got a hamburger, too. It's just small, so I decided to try it, too. It has the same. It has the chili sauce on the burger. So, and then I have some fries. So I'm going to try this and see how they taste. And take off this lipstick. Can y'all see me? Mm. I noticed in the show, I mean in the video, it looks like you can't see me. But when I replay it and all that, y'all, it looks just fine. So I'm hoping this one the same way. But here's the burger. Mmm. I guess it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm getting ready to say. I done had better. Now, from what I've seen, um, it's a place that's been here a long time. And from my understanding of reading, it was supposed to be one of the first restaurants in the state of Alabama. My stuff almost cold. But you know, everybody goes to it because they tell you to go to it. Nobody goes to it, really, I don't think, because they recommend it. It's just if you see it on the internet, let me try it without the ketchup. Here's the chili zone. Mmm. Mmm. It's got cold already. You have to hurry up and eat it, or it's going to be cold. Let me try it with some ketchup. I think they already mixed ketchup and sauerkraut, mustard, all that in already with onions. Mmm. Nothing to brag about. I can see my coat. Everything about cold in my but I have started eating hot dogs with sauerkraut, y'all, because I read sauerkraut is supposed to be good for the digestive system. Don't make me lie. 
But from what I understand is, you know, sauerkraut goes through a um, fragmentation process. And um, that process does something to the, um, you know how they be talking about, let me see. How they talk about probiotics and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's supposed to nat be a natural probiotic, prebiotic, whatever they call it. It's supposed to be natural. Anything that goes through this process is supposed to be natural sauerkraut. And what else they say? Um, kimchi, you know, it goes through that process too. If I'm not mistaken, like I said, don't make me lie. I think that's why. I'm you know, one of the reasons why apple cider vinegar is good for you because it goes through a few fragmentation, you know, um, thing. Mm. And since me trying to offer y'all this. <laughs> it's a chili dog. Even if it was hot. Mmm. If you want to chill it out. And y'all, guess what? I don't trade, I don't crave for chili dogs that often. But when I do, I had noticed, I had just thought of, let me go to Sonic. Mm-mm. This burger, it's okay. I mean, one thing you can say is cook with real beef because they cook it right in front of you. It's like right there. And people actually was in line for it and all this kind of stuff, honey. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I think it's more of a historical thing. And it probably was the bomb back in the day. But you fix your own drink. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm hungry, man. But, um, I'm not going to keep y'all long. I'm going to try to add something to this because I haven't even been on here that long, even really talked too much. And we don't have to eat that because really it was just a single piece of beef, like I said. You will say it's fresh beef because, like I said, they do cook it right in front of you. And um, I don't know if that's a good or plus thing because they talking. And I'm like a germaphobe almost. I'm thinking like, uh, you talking, so you spitting over my food. <laughs> anyway, I don't think restaurants realize that. You know, like, during the pandemic, it's not just about, you know, other stuff or whatever, whatever. Um, the big C. It's just about germs in, in general. You know, I just think when people are fixing your sandwich or fixing your plate or whatever, don't do all that talking because y'all gonna spit on people's food. I don't think people notice it, but you know, I, I probably was good for it too, but my daughter like, Mama, don't spit on my food. And, and when she started that, ever since then, I watch her. Everything she do, I do the same thing too. I be like, don't spit on my food. Don't be talking on my food. And she can't stand it. Isn't that something? <laughs> that is too funny. I said, you started this. I'm just ending it. Because it does have some truth to it. When people talking over your food, they're spitting. 80% of the time, they're spitting. <laughs> but anyway, how y'all doing? I 
I hope y'all doing good. But um, like I said, I don't really have too much to say. I came on to do that review. It's called the Fame Chris's Famous Hot Dogs. Downtown Montgomery. And um, like I said, everybody talked about it, I think, because it's a historical thing. They tell you to go try it. You go try it. Either you like it or you don't. I'm not going to tell you I don't like it. I'm just, I know the very first time I tried it, I wasn't trying to eat sauerkraut. So I, that's what threw me off because they said that was the famous hot dog that you eat. Well, now that I'm eating it, it's, uh, I'm not still crazy about sauerkraut, kraut, but now that I know it, it helps my indigestion, my digestion. Um, Because everybody know hot dogs may give you indigestion. So I try to use sauerkraut now that I know that on the, on the hot dogs. I don't know what kind of sense that makes because, shoot, it's not the traditional American hot dog when you put sauerkraut on it. So you eat a hot dog, but it's not your favorite hot dog. Try, please, whatever. But anyway, I don't have too much to say, child. The fries, and I did taste one when they were hot. They're not that hot now. But they don't put a lot of salt on it and all that for you. So when you go in there, make sure you get your salt and ketchup because they're not, they don't season them. <clears throat> Other than that, it's like a hole in the wall. Oh my God, you, you heard us saying hole in the wall. It's literally almost that because when you pick up your um thing is, you almost have to be on the wall. I mean, it's cute, but it's just so congested. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's like one of those things that, you know, the club should be over here and you go over there and get your hot dog or whatever. Anyway, it is what it is. Try it if you want to. Um, it's a unique taste. It's your taste buds. It's chili dog on a hamburger. <clears throat> and, um, be their famous chili but you know me when you're dealing with this a southern person who knows how to cook who's who had a mother who knew how to cook it's kind of hard to please us so hey you got to be good for me to brag about you okay but anyway i'm not gonna keep y'all long i just want to put that out there i hope everything is going well i'm i don't know what's going on in news today um I don't know what's going on y'all i don't know but um i'm probably gonna put this for children too because adults eat hot dogs but children really eat hot dogs so you probably won't be able to make a comment on this one either so anyway i'm gonna try to keep it simple i told you about the hot dogs and the hamburger it's okay but hey just go try it for historical sake Y'all take care. I love y'all and God love you too. Thank you.